And welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Blu-ray. If you want to stop for reaction video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. It's a fun place to hang out. You like this? Oh, this is in Spanish. So I say I think it's hola. Uh, welcome to my reaction, right? Reaction. Okay. I'm going to be doing Nino Bravo, Un Beso y Una Flor. Or Fiori. Okay, so we're going to go check that out. My first time reaction to him, all right? So my first time reaction. All right. So, are you ready for reaction? All right, let's do this. Dejaré mi tierra por ti, dejaré mis campos y me iré lejos de aquí. Cruzaré llorando el jardín y con tus recuerdos partiré lejos de aquí. Nice voice, man. Nice swag. With a name like Nino Bravo, you got to be the coolest guy on the planet, right? You got to be number one cool, right? With a name like Nino Bravo, man. And this sounds like some type of like the coolest guy on the planet. Yo, Nino, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? You call him out. Bravo, what you doing? You know, cool sound, cool whatever. This is 1972. I was 12 years old. So this is really something. Like, he's ahead of his time. This is a video because neither videos came out later. So he's ahead of his time. All right, let's go. El día viviré pensando en tus sonrisas. De noche las estrellas me acompañarán. Serás como una luz que alumbre mi camino. Me voy, pero te juro que mañana volveré. Okay, what are, what are the pictures about and what the pain is about? So, yeah, I didn't Google the, the language. I like to learn it and see if I can figure it out. But um, you got these two classic photos and stuff. So you guys can let me know um, what's going on. But beautiful voice, beautiful sound. I like the scenery of it. Imagine if it was in HD back in today's time, what that would look like, that sight, you know. All right, let's go. Al partir, un beso y una flor. Tomorrow, right? Mañana, tomorrow. I heard that word in there, right? Okay, so this looks like Spain. I was in Spain um, three times. And it's happened more of Spain type, uh, whatever. I'm making an assumption. I didn't Google yet because I want to feel it, feel it first, and yeah, I can always research afterwards. All right, my first time reaction. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful sound, nice smooth melody, man. I like this, man. man. This is good today, man. So this has a nice, a nice flavor to it, man. All right, all right, let's go. Buscaré un hogar para ti, donde el cielo se une con el mar, lejos de aquí. Con mis manos y con tu amor, lograré encontrar otra ilusión. Lejos de aquí, de día viviré pensando en tus sonrisas, de noche las estrellas me acompañarán. Beautiful flavor of voice. The voice is strong. Now it is strong, but he is controlled. He's not overdoing it, over singing it, right? And it matches the scenery. Beautiful place, man. I want to find out, you know, where is this at? The Spain. I went to, I went to Spain in 1979. So I'm assuming this is Spain, but this could be any place, though. Um, you know, I'm assuming Spain can speak in Spanish and stuff, singing in Spanish. Uh, but I'll find out in a few minutes. All right, let's go. Serás como una luz que alumbre mi camino. Me voy, pero te juro que mañana voy. Las penas pesan en el 
if I can just touch up my Spain. Right, if this is, this part I don't recognize. I, mean, I, was, at, I was at Lorette de Mar three times, went to the same place. I never went to Barcelona. I stayed in Lorette de Mar. So it would be seven years later, so it wouldn't be probably that much change. We had a hotel on the sea line, but the rock formation and all of that, nothing nothing was like that. Everything was just flat. You see this beach, right? So you see it was beautiful, man. I miss it. All right, let's go. Bring back all those memories of when I was, you know, overseas and stuff. And I'm just anxious to get to it. I could be way off, but I don't think this is South America, though. Could be. Could be. I don't know. I'm only familiarized with New York, which that's not. You know, New York Spanish. Uh, and things like that. But other than that, oh, I don't know. I want to cheat and look. But I'll wait till after the song is done. But of course, I was saying beautiful language, beautiful swag, beautiful scenery. Way ahead of his time because MTV and stuff wouldn't come out for a long time. And this is shot like a mu music video, you know. All right, let's go. Al partir, un beso y una flor, un te quiero, una caricia y un adiós. Es ligero el equipaje para tan largo viaje, las penas pesan en el all right, beautiful song, strong song. I'm going to check out where is he from. All right, we put this on pause for a second. It's when I pick my mouth. Okay, I am back. Make sure my clock is ticking. Yes, it is. Because sometimes I would pause it and I'd be yak, 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 yak. And I'm like, oh no, it didn't record because it was on pause. Okay, and unfortunately, it's like he died a year after this thing said this listed. So here we've got, right? So I got Nino Bravo. Has multiple issues. Please help improve it. All right? We're just looking at this. August 3rd, 1944. April 16th, 1973. Wow. So um, that, that, that video is dated in 1972. So, yeah, so he's Spanish and he was born in Spain. So here he is. Ferry was born Albert at the Marita, something, Spain. Uh, that should be him, yeah? Okay. His father was a salesman from Valencia, so yeah, he's from Spain. He was three years old. So he died in 1973. You see, singing. Oh, he died in a car accident. Only 28 years old. Wow. That's sad to hear. 28, car accident. So, I was only 12 when he died, right? I was turning 13. So I probably wouldn't know this, but with that big news over there, like even when Hendrix died, especially when Bruce Lee died, 72, right? I think it was 72, 73, whatever. Okay, but anyway, those were like, went all over the place, right? And um, Hendrix died, that was like word talk. You didn't have YouTube and Instagram, nothing like that out there. So just watch the regular news and stuff. But um, what was it like when he had passed away and stuff like that? So was it... Like big news in Spain, I'm pretty sure it was. Or international news, or like around the Spanish speaking community. Let me know more about this. My first reaction, and I'm wondering. I wonder, like, you know, he lived a good long life or something like that, or or whatever, you know. You know, so, um, yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Beautiful music. I'm looking to do more from him and stuff. So, this is Dr. Ron, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.